Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Funko Pop Games Call of Duty Target Exclusive Spaceland Zombies. Or zombie. Uh, this is one, 148 in the Pop Games line. Uh, this is also a Target Exclusive Pop, like I did with my last Funko Pop review, which was three months ago. That's... That is a little long. Um, I gotta start reviewing more pops, which I do have enough to do, so I uh, gotta start getting on that. On the side, you can see the uh, pick the art, I guess, for these Spaceland zombies. And on the back, you can see all the other pops available in the set. You got John Soap McTavish, all grilled up. Kill, kill, I don't know how to say that. Juggernaut, Riley, Monkey Bomb, and the Spaceland Zombies. This is a Target exclusive. Every one of them else. Every single one of the other ones besides these two are, uh, tar are retail. So you can find them anywhere. Uh, my best bet to find them, Think Geek. That's where I got all mine. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to get this guy opened up. And when we come back, we'll be taking a better look. That's the Spaceland Zombie. With the pop out of the packaging, I've got to say, this is not a bad pop. Although, they did really follow uh, the same formula as the Walking Dead Walkers. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but I I, I really like it. Um, the, there's a lot of nice dry brushing. Uh, paint going on. Let's get this to focus. Maybe okay, I think this is a bit better. Uh, but yeah, you can see some dry brushing or um, yeah, just dry brushing going in there. Uh, looks really nice. I like I like how it's like a dirty blonde look. Like he was a full blonde and it's dirt, you know. Uh, I also love the effect where he's crying blood. I think that looks really good. I love the wash in there. It looks really nice. And I like how the red changes from like kind of a darkish red to the brighter red. You got the mouth. Looks like his inside of his mouth is filled with dark blood. Looks nasty. He's got the blood in between the teeth. Really cool. And then you got all these little bumps. That's very nicely sculpted. I love this head sculpt. Uh, if I could, I'd probably pop this off, which I could, actually, I've seen it plenty around. Um, you could, I could probably pop this off and put it on to a different Walking Dead head that I didn't really like. Anyways, continuing on, you could tell this guy was a bit of a douche. <laughs> uh, with the sweater, uh, no. I'm sorry if you do that, but it's just not... It's not my luck. Anyway, he's got the little sunglasses there. He's got the, there's some nice blood on here, too, but not as bad. Like, Walking Dead, sometimes they overdo the blood, but... Anyways, you got some uh, this really pink uh, sweater. And then you can see the nice sculpting right there. Again, there's the wrinkles and some uh, dry brushing in there. Wash. I don't, I don't know. Um... The blue shirt. If he had the blue shirt only, I'd be okay with that. But he's got some rips in there. And then more rips on the back. Love the paint as for the skin. He's got some uh, tears. And I actually uh, sculpted too. And then I just love the hands too. The hands look really all like old and bony. He's got the uh, watch there. Um, I don't know what kind of watch voice crack. He's got the more cuts. And then the pants. Nothing much going on. Like the shoes a little bit. Uh, they're dirty too. Like, well, it's not dirty. But they painted to be dirty. And looks really good. Uh, so overall, solid pop. Uh, you can find this at your Target. Either online or just go there. I mean, I'm sure they'll have plenty. Uh, don't be a scalper. But yeah, um... Definitely, I'm not gonna do a side by side comparison of a uh, of a Walking Dead pop, but I I'll do uh, Batman. Uh, <laughs> you see, Funko's is doing a great job with the whole sculpt thing. This is 
no longer like I look at this. Yeah, I'll say it's a pop because of the head, but I don't know. It's like they completely changed their game, and sometimes it's very good. Sometimes it's very bad. It's mostly good, but still solid pop. I hope they can make more uh, zombie-related uh, pops from uh, Call of Duty Zombies. This is I. This is from the new. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, I think. That's what my friend told me. And I was like, oh, okay. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. What do you think about this pop? Uh, and if what other Call of Duty zombie pops would you want? I would really love a Hellhound. Uh, a Hellhound would be awesome. Uh, and subscribe to see so much more content, uh, podcast, uh, in a few months. And we'll I'm trying to figure out something to talk about. Uh, and what else? I, <laughs> I'm i going to do a review on a uh, NECA figure, which is a bit outdated. But still, subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. And thank you for watching. Uh,